Hello. Today I want to show you some different types of papers that you can paint and use them for collage or handmade books. This is Spectra Art Tissue and that's what I'm going to be using for this first project. I'm using a piece of tissue that's doubled over so that it's two in one, two layers, and I have um, black acrylic paint, and I'm going to paint both sides of this so that it will be fairly strong. So when this dries and I've painted the whole thing, you can use whatever color you want. Then you will be ready for the second step to this. I have already painted white and black on this one and it's on both sides, two sheets. Now, I'm going to take that same black paint and a stamp, whatever type stamp you want. And we will put this black on the white side. Maybe even lift it up and rub it on the back. And it makes a nice uh, collage paper with various designs on it. Let's try one with white paint. This is Deco Art Americana on a different design. Okay, so you can see the white on the black and the black on the white. I have done one earlier on brown so that you could see. I even used bubble wrap for part of this. This particular one was just a piece of typing paper folded and then rolled up and pressed into the paint. So you can use anything to print with. The second thing I want to show you is various kinds of Japanese washi paper or rice paper. This is a beautiful um, lace design. This one already has texture. Some papers are mulberry papers with mulberry leaves in them. So it gives you a little something before you even paint it. Uh, this is a, another thing one. Here's one with a design of flowers and so on on it. This is Ken Washi, let me hold it still, Ken Washi translucent paper. Uh, it's nice to use in collages or on the pages in your book. I love to use this tie paper mulberry tie paper. You'll be able to click um, if you go to a um, 
search site and type in Japanese washi papers, you'll see um, different ones of these. See that has little brown flecks in it. Here's another one that's kind of ragged when you tear it on the edge. This one has larger pieces of leaves on it. And this one has real thick fibers on it. So I want to um, paint a couple of these and let you see um, what they look like when they're painted. Have some watercolor right here. So let's just put a little bit of this red. Even though you have the paint on there, some of these little um, fibers are still going to show up. Let's try this one. Maybe with some blue. Then you just let these dry. I put all of my blues in a two gallon Ziploc bag, all of my different colors of red and another one and so on. So that when I start to do a collage with these papers, um, I can pull out the bag that I think I'm going to use or the bags. Now, if you put on a thick layer, you may not be able to see um, the little specks in some of them, but if you use a thinner layer, then you will be able to. See that? Okay. I want to show you that you can make your own papers also. I'm taking um, a piece of this. I'm just going to tear off a small part to show you. Take a piece of your tissue paper to, and fold it over, but open it first. And I have some sewing thread and red ribbon and blue ribbon and then I have this crepey kind of paper that I've cut into little tiny confetti. See? So I'm going to put all of that onto or in between these two pieces. And I'm using acrylic medium to paint on it cover the whole side then add your string and confetti to it Just however much you need. We won't need all of this, I don't think. Then close it up. And paint it again. I also use um, polymer medium to adhere all of my papers to the collage or book pages or whatever I'm making. All right, so there is that. And of course, it's going to be translucent when it dries. And you can tear or cut that. And it already has a design in it of whatever color you need. 
There's one other um, type of papers that I like to use too. I did a video today um, on how to make these rust colored papers with real tin that's rusty. And um, look for that one when I get it uploaded. But I love to use this amber all the way to black colors that you get from making this rust paper. And I like to use it in my collages because, you know, rust seems to be ugly a lot of times and not worth anything. But I tell people when I put them into my collages that they can be beautiful. Just when God takes care of all of us, we may think that we're not pretty or not worth anything sometimes, but we are. Here is a collage that I used both types of paper that I showed you just now. The rust papers right here, and um, it's on top of another piece of paper that was partially painted. This one is the black paper with the white dots on it. So I've used the rust paper again here and up here. So you can use these in different ways. This is the string in, in the, between the papers. Also, I want to show you a couple that have uh, the Japanese rice papers in them. Now, that's better maybe. Um, I tore the papers out, the Japanese papers that I painted, and glued them on and tried to not have it exactly realistic but you can still tell that it's a pot of flowers. And then I went back in and um, used a little bit of watercolor to make the accent lines on it. And then this is another one. You can see um, the little fibers in here. And I like when one color overlaps onto another. This is plain tissue paper. And this is the washi paper. I put a poem on it. Um, I actually ran this paper through the printer, but it won't go by itself because it is too thin. So I glued this paper to a piece of typing paper, and then I ran it through and got the words on it. Here's some of the rest of the papers that I just showed you. And then one of the thicker papers I used to make my chickens. This has got a lot of texture on it. And then this is that mulberry paper down here with the little dots in it. So that's that one. And then the last paper that I want to show you is Tyvek paper that they build houses with. Or if you don't have that and you've gotten an envelope from the post office, this is the back of it. And you can see when you look at it that it has little fibers in it and it helps it to um, really turn out to be a nice collage paper. So what we do is paint, you paint it on both sides with acrylic paint, fairly thick. So there's one side, and then we would paint the other side exactly the same way. Then let it dry. After it's dry, you would put a paper towel down on top of it and iron it. 
and the heat does something to those fibers that are inside of the envelope paper and makes it turn out really neat. Um, Three-dimensional type. This is one. It's painted on both sides. It doesn't matter what color. A lot of times I put one color on the back and one on the front and then I can choose which side I want to use. This is another. See how it crunches up. I really like the way that turned out. It's almost like a flower if you were to cut it out. And then this one came out to be kind of holy in places, but I like those holes because if you layer your collages, then those holes are going to show what's underneath, and that will be a good thing. Um, I hope you'll try using all of these different types of papers and enjoy making collages. Thank you.